Hello everybody and welcome back to Moody Mare Diaries. I have just finished my second shift at my new job and it was really nice but now I'm going to horse walk and I feel like reality has hit me so I'm getting a little bit nervous. Tomorrow Jade and I are doing our first ever one day event. So we're going to officially be eventers. It is an unaffiliated one at um, Forrester Seat. So it's the one that we've done before. So the last cross country vlog that you saw, it's the same place, but I'm assuming the course will be different. So it's Friday night and I'm away to go and meet a friend from Instagram and walk course walk. So there's going to be show jumping too. So at least we can walk the course and I won't have anything to learn tomorrow. Hopefully, if I remember them. So, yeah, feeling a little bit excited slash nervous, yeah, slash unprepared because I've been working all day. So yeah, I've not um, had time to plot up or anything, but I will do that. Arrived. <laughs> Straight out the start box, and we're going for it. Don't run, jump over that. You'll definitely. Oh my god. <laughs> She's about to jump. If you jump over that, oh, right. <laughs> So start box and then this is number one. It was number two last time. It's a chunky monkey, but we've done it. So yeah. Whew. Okay, number two, stunning. Number three. Okay, nice wee ski jump. <laughs> so there's quite a sharp turn to this one into the sweet double. Um, but it's fine. That'll be a bit of a hill, but the first one's quite small. So smash it. we are good. Okay, number six is the same as it was last time. Still on a weird angle, but we know that it jumps fine, so. And number seven's the same. And we've got the lead combination for 8A and 8B. Okay, so the wall's in it again this time. We're gonna try and ride that a bit nicer and get a good photo. And remember to go through these flags. And then we have the fence that I had to stop at, so I can practice going through the water. So I don't even know what number that is anymore, but um, 11. But yeah, it's very similar to last time, which is good. So we get a, another chance to try and do our best and try and go clear. Compared to last time, we got two run outs. So fingers crossed we get over the jumps that we had stopped at last time. Jump number 12. We quite like these ones. Touch wood, they seem to jump quite nicely. Number 13 is the camper van. So we've done this before. So that's fine. So we've changed the ditch back to the small one for the 80. I had to do that one last time, so I'm quite pleased. Although that was kind of practice for eventing, but we're good. Um, and then we're straight into a wee skinny B, B part. And we've got a little step, just the middle one. And then we're almost finished. We're coming through the final gates, which is nice. If I make it this far, I'll be very happy. There's that final fence <laughs> that cut me out last time. <laughs> oh. I feel pretty chill about these little tires. Quite happy about that. How are we feeling, Harvey? Yeah, I could do that on my sleep. <laughs> that was good. Final fence, woohoo! Um, this is the one that caught us out last time, so leg on for this one. We're not finished yet. And then we're finito. I'm guessing, by guessing, I'm like pretty sure that's where the finish is, which is quite far. So we're in the show jumping now. It's a nice wee course, it's quite tight. And the grass is a wee bit long, but we're fine. I think this is for 100. It better be, because otherwise I'm not doing that. Um, so yeah, that's jump number one. And mm, where's number two? Probably that blue and greeny one over there coming across the diagonal. Right, so I've just spotted a water tray which is making me feel a wee bit nauseous but I'm hoping they'll take it out for for the 80. I'm sure they will. It's a bit wide if it was in the 80. Oh yeah, number two. That's number one. All the way down to number two. And this is number three. Which is a nice one. They're all pretty nice, none of them are too bright or anything. They all could be doing with a lick of paint, which is actually quite good. <laughs> the duller the better. That's a very skinny oxer. Number four. Number four. And then straight ahead to number five. Six is across the diagonal again with the wee fillers. So number six and then we'll walk right around and seven is there. So Stunning. this is our dressage um, arenas. Arenas, does that sound right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they're a wee bit like 
on a wee bit of slope but you can't really see it they're pretty nice the grass has been cut and stuff so i feel all right and they're quite far away from like the jumping well they're over like a wee hill on that so we can't really see much what's going on i know it'll be bustling tomorrow and really busy but um hopefully like when we're over here with the trees and stuff like we'll be in our own wee zone hopefully i won't be hanging on for dear life <laughs> So about half an hour, 45 minutes later and I am at the yard I'm having to go and plait up now Oh, I'm dreading it I wish Joanna was a nice person and actually um, offered to do it for me I'm just joking but um, yeah, I wish Joanna could do it for me I am honestly so bad at things like this Like I can't even plait my own hair if I wanted to I'm like the least girly person, I'm not good at things like this. It's really annoying. I really wish I was. Like my hands cramp up and I'm like, I just lose it. But I'm gonna leave her forelock and hopefully Joanna can do that tomorrow. Um but yeah, I'm gonna try and do it tonight and sew them in and hope that she goes out to the fields tonight and doesn't roll too much. But yeah, I'll go get her in now. <laughs> wish me luck. She promises she's gonna stand really still. Look at that forelock. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Do you like it like that? Oh my god, mum, I love it. I think it's so pretty. That's how I feel like the prettiest. Well, that's good. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, mum. I'm not coming. Come on. Come on. I have absolutely no idea how this is going to go. And my heart is actually beating so fast because, like, I just can't do it. If I get stressed, like, I'll just give up. And yeah, but okay, let's have a crack. Come on, Jade, please don't thrash your head about like that when I'm doing the plaits. Okay, so this is stage one. I have separated them into uneven bunches so that the front thing, four lock, could be the even number. Apparently, that's what you're meant to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That one's not going to be the easiest, I don't think, but. We'll just leave it like this, that'll be ideal. Okay, so this is stage two. I think I've actually done pretty well. I mean, they're not ideal, they're not stunning, but we're a way to like thread them up, sew them in. I'm so scared she rubs these out because that's just taking me about an hour. I don't know what to do with this one. I'm not really sure how that's gonna go. <laughs> They've just got progressively smaller. <laughs> Look how little this one is. But yeah, they're all right actually. I'm quite impressed with myself. She's not wanting to stand still, but look at these two. I'm quite impressed with these. This one's a little bit puffy there, but whatever. I actually don't know how I'm gonna manage her. She's getting very impatient, but bless, she's been pretty good so far. And I'm really scared to turn her out after doing this because she's just gonna rub them out. I am pretty impressed with these, I'm not gonna lie. Ay, ay, ay. I had to feed her her tea there because she was getting a bit antsy. Ay, ay, ay. No, come on. Look at them. They're pretty good. I'm gonna put a tenner on the fact that she doesn't keep them in through the night. I can't believe I'm actually turning her out after this. Like people would just think I'm mad. But this is what she's been doing, just like walking around and she's getting very impatient. So I'm just gonna chuck her out and hope for the best. Hey, I'll do the little skinny ones tomorrow, probably with bands because I'm not sure how a thread will even stay in there. But yeah, this is what she's doing. She's walking around. Can I please go now? I've eaten my tea and I'm fed up. Can I go please? Please, 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 let me go. Right, I'm absolutely pooping myself that she's away to just go in there and roll. I'll have to watch for 10 minutes and run rapping. If she starts rolling. Come on, Princess Pie, you can't just graze there all night. <laughs> One hand, this isn't easy. Come on! Big girl. Right, please, please don't roll. Please. That was such hard work, and you'll just have to stand for ages. To tomorrow morning if you do please so that is the car all packed we've got some buckets with sponges cooling gel cooling wash and um, recovery mash body protectors two times hats i almost forgot one of my hats that's not the saddle pad i'm wearing but it was stuck on there well i just couldn't be bothered taking it off so i've got my weight saddle pad at home my number bib that i need to change the number and um, my white fluffy thing water buckets uh, so yeah, I think that's about everything. I've had to borrow Joanna's blue gloves because I can't find it. My ones, I'll have a rummage at home because these ones might be a little bit tight on me, but we'll see. But yeah, it's not even that late. Quite happy with myself. Okay, so I'm leaving the yard. It is ten past eight. I can see her and I've seen her briefly turn her head around. Her plaits are still in so far. So, please keep them in! So it is now 8.53 and I've realised 
shockingly, that I've not had one mouthful of food all day. I've been a bit anxious for this tomorrow and I've been working like my second ever shift at the shop. So um, yeah, I've just not eaten all day. So um, got myself a McDonald's, some cheese bites and I just went to Esso to get fuel and get loads of sweets. So yeah, basically I'm just binge eating now. I've not eaten anything all day, but oh well, I can excuse it. It's just because there's a competition tomorrow. I'm scared. It is the morning. And I think she's kept them in. Can you see? It's focusing on the leaves. Oh my god. Stop shaking! Stop it! Can you, can you go somewhere that's not trees, please? Good morning, everybody! Um, I am now at the yard. It's 8 o'clock, so I'm basically bang on time of when I was wanting to be here. So, yeah, it's actually not a very early one today, which is good. I'm happy with that. Um, and I think Jade has kept her plaits in. I think. I'm not like touch wood. I'm pretty sure through the leaves I could see them. They might have been a little bit. I'll just cut those bits off, you know, if there's bits coming out. But um, uh, yeah, they kind of look intact, which is like amazing. Joanna's going to do her forelock because I literally cannot do like French. I don't understand the whole French situation. You know where you like have to keep adding bits in and stuff I, it just goes right over my head so um i think joanna's gonna do that for me well she better she said she was gonna um yeah and all i actually have to do is hitch up and then eventually bring jade in and give her a groom and probably whiten her socks a wee bit that's all i really have to do i literally did everything last night all my clothes are in here as you can see by me my boots full of like everything i could possibly need I think anyway, oh god, I'm scared of left something. I actually almost left my um my like proper hat. You know, like your hat you wear for dress and show jumping and stuff like that, because I put the skull cap in my car with the hat silk, like the one I'll be wearing for my cross country colours. So imagine I had to go around dressage wearing like a burgundy and white big pom pom and stuff. Oh my god. That was a close call. Um so yeah, I think I've got everything. And I'm just gonna go hitch up now. Now for the moment of truth. Let me see them, let me see them. Oh, she did keep going. You listened. You listened. Oh, you're so clever. You are so clever. So this is what I'm dealing with this morning. This is the beauty of young horses. Sometimes they're chill, sometimes they're crazy. Hey, stop being crazy. Very infuriating. So Auntie Jojo has come and done the forelock. How gorgeous she looks. Hi, hello. hello. Oh, hi, Sarah. <laughs> oh, hello, Sarah. Hello. <laughs> I thought you were someone else going up here. I was just not even turning around. We have arrived. It's absolutely packed. It always is here, to be fair, but this is obviously like a one day event. So like there's a lot of people hanging about. And yeah, things, definitely. Eh? Like, it's got a good atmosphere. Um, the show jumping's on, so I'm going to watch a bit um, and make sure I definitely know the course, but they look a bit better. They're down. Did the course stay the same as yesterday? Like, yeah, it wasn't did, on Did you yesterday. walk it yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I see. Um, so yeah, I've, I've, it's been confirmed the water tray's coming out, thank actual God. <laughs> and I think it's sitting at 90 just now. Which is cool because they don't even look too big. The planks look quite big, but the rest doesn't look too big. You yeah. say it doesn't look too big, but then if you had to do this, you'd probably be like, <gasps> yeah, but like it's looking a bit big. I, if that was eighty, I'd think, oh, but like if it's ninety, then it's good because it doesn't look too bad. Do you know what I mean? Excuses, excuses. Right, a little mini groom before we go over to the dressage. Um, so Claire's looking to be on in about twenty minutes, which is concerning. Wow. Look at the state of our. <laughs> Sorted this forelock right out. What do you think? 10 out of 10? Jade, what do you think? Do you like it? Oh, you're being good just now, even though you were trying to batter me when I was actually doing the forelock. Hmm. Claire Colvin eventing, finally living up to the name. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me with my bib on. I know. Like I know, I can't believe you almost forgot it and you've always said like you can't wait to ride with a bib on. Exciting stuff. Oh, so Pretty JD. So oh, I feel so professional. Ah. Love it. Right, so perfect example of Claire overreacting as pair because Jade is really, really chill and she was trotting about there and looked absolutely lovely. So I think they're going to do an amazing dress test. Yeah. 
heard it here first. <laughs> so I believe this is her worst rain and it's not even bad. So yeah, a lot better than me and Blondie anyway, a lot of the time. So, and Jade's five, so she's got more of an excuse. Claire, she looks lovely. Okay, so it's almost Claire's go um, and Jade's going so, so nicely and I just had to tell Claire to stop being depressing and believe in her horse because she's going lovely. Um, yeah, I think she's just feeling a little bit nervy about it. I think we all just kind of like don't want a judge to have to actually judge us on our riding and like our horses and stuff, but um, no, I think she'll go amazing. Like, I think she'll really surprise herself. Ah, Jade's time to shine. We are just chillaxing. We've got big weights. We've got a big weights. No. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, um, you put the sunglasses yeah. on. <laughs> no, no paparazzi. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no paparazzi. Yeah, so yeah, um, we have got a bit of a wait till show jumping. Um, so yeah, we're just chilling. You chilling, Jade? How you feeling? Yeah. yeah, I feel good. I can jump now. Can we go home now? Hi. I. So. She said it, not me. Say hi. <laughs> 
So we are just heading off to the show jumping to have a little watch and a nosey because Check we have... competition. Oh, what's going on with my hair in it? Oh, did you let me Claire said that she wanted to check out the competition because she thinks that she's going to win. Massive bam. I never said that. Don't start. <laughs> I'm literally like the least competitive person ever. But um, yes, we... Have like an hour and a bit before dressage, uh, before show jumping. So we thought, what's the point of sitting on the trailer when we can go and watch some horses? Your and salad, huh? I know, I love that colour. Look how nice. With that look on Jade. Mm. If you went and treat yourself to it. No. Um, <laughs> we're not getting any new saddle pads, we've got a million. Okay. For show jumping. Few times I've been, been around that track, track. So it's not just gonna Been like that cause you ain't no hollaback girl Ain't no hollaback girl <laughs> oh, She's actually Doesn't watching what you wad on earth Oh dude you look beautiful So you can see Claire in the distance over there Getting ready to go into the show jumping warm up And I think she's saying that it's really weird being back on already But um, yeah it's time for all the fun stuff now Jade's still a very keen bean. Oh, she's looking fab. Thought she was waiting to come do that oxer. <laughs> oh. Right, so I've just popped both of the jumps down because that oxer was literally sitting at like 90 or a metre. Um, I think it's sitting at like more like a 75, 80 now. So I'm hoping all the competitors love me for that. Claire certainly, certainly does. Um, I've just seen how much I put that down by and now it's actually jump above. So Jade's jumped a couple of cross poles and the wee straight ones and she's flying. Um, you obviously don't want to do, do too much warm up for a one day event because she's still got to go cross country. Jeez, it's what a long day. Also the ground here, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, it's just so hilly. Like both jumps are fully uphill. So yeah, Jade's been kind of like tucking away a bit and spooking a wee bit. I think it's just not very comfortable for them to be honest. <laughs> You're not showing us any jumps? No? And there we go. Oh god. It's quite a tight warm up as well. <laughs> the zoom on this phone is immense. Claire's got a new phone. Good girl, Judy. 
Last one. Very good. Right, so that's us ready for cross country. Clear looking very professional. <laughs> Clearly copying my colours from last week. Oh, pink. Well, it's the exact same style. I bought them first, and then you copied me. You do I know that. don't believe you. You do know that. That's well, true. why are you wearing it after me then? Because you know the competition before I do. Mm hmm. You copied me and bought them. Claire copied me, you all saw it first. I wore mine first at floors. So we are off to go do a cross country now, as you can see. Mm. And Jade has been a really, really good girl today, so Claire's no reason to doubt her, but Claire's still being grumpy boss. No, scared the cat. Scared the cat. I think the word you're looking for is scared the cat. But there's no reason to be. She's Mommy, a darling. Me? I love cross country. Exactly, you, you tell her. You tell her, Jade. Oh. She never has. You're awful. Good baby. Okay. Here we go, girls. Claire, big smile. <laughs> so Claire must have lost a little bit of weight because um, her belt was too big, and she felt like her leggings were falling down. So we've just swapped belts. So I've got her one on now, and she's gonna be comfortable, whereas I won't be. Um, yeah, and I'm the one that needs to run up these hills. So not really fair. Good girl! warm up like 45 minutes before she's meant to the home that they were taking some early um, and I think they are but you know what Claire's like once it gets to a hard turn like somebody will be like okay you can probably go now she'll be like um, give me another 10 minutes of warming up um, uh, but I can see her walking around the dim box so hopefully she's just kind of like chilling out now just before she gets in the start box and we are her on soon oh my god I can't believe she's actually like a vent at the end of this course she can finally call her JD. Oh, this one's funny on an angle, which she's done before. Come on. Oh, easy.
good. Go, go, go. Come on, JD. Oh. Oh, there's our cheeky sword. Stop chatting to the people. Post cross country feels. She's loving her mash. Yes, she is. Oh my god, she Jeez really don't want it. Is that amazing? Oh my god, this was actually worth all the hard work to get this sweet. Mm. Do you know new cross country could be that fun, eh? Who knew, Claire? Who knew? What, what happens when you actually try and like, enjoy yourself? I've actually <laughs> like a cup camera. <laughs> Judge Ollie! <laughs> are you gonna judge the dress, Ash? Is that what you're gonna do? It's so cute. We've uh, taken Jade's plats out. Sad times, but it is. Oh, hi, girly. Look at your cute hair! Love it! She's got a wee bit more mash. Um, just to have a wee snack on, make sure she's not hungry or very thirsty. So, yeah, she's. I think she's having the best time. How are you? Just chillaxing, relaxing. It's been a long day and you've behaved absolutely impeccably, so I'm so, so proud of you. I'm gonna... So proud of you. So, I think we're gonna go and watch some. You wanna go watch some? No. Oh well, I'm going on my own then. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to put a cap on or something. My hair looks mad. So, we're sitting here all chilly watching some cross country until we get Claire's results. It's so cold. It is really cold. It's so, good. Claire's it's using cold. Ollie for warmth. He's actually helped a lot. Enjoying it. <laughs> like, he's not. You're not. You're loving it. I love this. It's so nice. <laughs> so, this girl has done her tea and she's wanting to go. She's wanting to go out to the field to see her pals, aren't you? But I don't think your pals are even out. Let me out, Mum. I want to go see my friends. I've done a big day of lots of hard work. So, yeah, I'm so proud of her how well she's handled all this day. Ay, I know. She gets annoyed when she's eating her tea already and. I don't put her right out in the field. She's got a wee mouthful left, so let's see if I can lick that clean first, Mum. Let's go. You can go back. You wanna go? You wanna go? Fine. I love you. I love you. Let me go because I'm going because I'm... I love this horse so much. Okay, have your water. Oh, or not. She's had all she needs to drink. That horse is honestly fit as a fiddle. She's dragged me back to the field. I honestly thought she'd be pooped, but she's definitely not. She going for a roll and I should scroll for a graze. Honestly, she's such a treat. So that is me just heading off now. Jay's been fed, Belle's been fed, and yeah, I'm absolutely knackered. Also, in the cross country, a fly flew into my eye like really hard I must have been like going fast and this fly was also going fast the other way and it went like full blast into my eye and I've definitely got some damage there it's still really sore so I'm time to go home and rest it I think oh my god it's actually burning when I close it anyway um what an amazing day I just feel so like ah we've actually just done like our first one day event and she was such an angel all day like she just except from the very start of the day she was done ours 
we'll forgive her. Um, she was so good. She handled it all absolutely amazingly. Way better than I thought. She warmed up beautifully in the dressage. Like, probably the best she's went in a long time. It's such a shame that our dressage arena was like on a tilt like this. So, like, on our good rain, we were going downhill, which is such a shame because she's such a she's a baby and like some balance as it is. Um, so going down, trying to trot down a hill, and while well, it's like having a nice contact and things are just freaking impossible. So we're just kind of like tottering about down the hill, going up the serpentine onto like the the not so good rain, and then down the hill on the good rain. So it was just annoying. Like she was just like tottering about and things. So we had to ride very defensively and stuff. But you know what? <laughs> We did their dressage test and we've done it and and we stayed inside the whiteboards and we got a 37 for it, I think it was, um, which I'm happy with. It's realistic and things. So yeah, I'm very happy with it. If like that's just, like the arena was rubbish and hopefully it'll be flatter at Hopeton and things like that. So like if she still acts like she did today at Hopeton and for the future I'll be so happy. Um show jumping, the ground was horrible, the warm-up was horrid, um all churned up and like hilly and rocky and uphill and downhill and blah. So I rode very defensively again. Like we had a few like dodgy things and dodge strides, but she only took one pole, so I was really proud of her for that. Um she managed to get her wee feet out of the way, which she's not always so good at. But um yeah, did that phase. She wasn't phased by any anything at all. Like no fillers, nothing. She wasn't bothered at all. She just flew. So yeah, buzz and wear for that. And then the cross country, she was a machine. She just loves it. Like I just say, I said today to myself, like my biggest scary thing is coming out the start box and to go at the first jump like that freaks me right out. So I always trot to the first fence. I don't know if you've noticed that. I always trot to the first fence. And today I was like, I'm cantering to the first fence. I'm doing it. This is my like main goal of the day is to canter to fence one. And then I saw that fence one was not the log. It was actually like a bit of a beefy, chunky fence. And um, I was a bit sad. I was like, I don't want to canter to that. Like that's scary. Like if she stops, what well, if she doesn't know she's jumping yet? I get all these stuff in my head. And then I was there and I was like, you know what? I'm going to canter. So I started trying and I was like, God, I've cantered. And she just flew. She loved it. She loves cross country. I don't know like what's gotten in her. Like she's still a baby. And she just, she just loves it. Like, how does she know? just crazy like she just loves it so much um so we had a much easier lovely riding riding round like i just sat there most of the time like i barely even kicked half the time like she was just going for it and i think um that's the issue when it came to the purple jump again ah, that purple jump will be the bit of my life who would have thought that jump out of everything i actually think i jumped that jump on bell which just shows like it's not a bad jump it's just we lost, like, why did I let her trot through the water again? <sighs> so last time we trotted through the water, she lost all momentum, it's up a hill. Doesn't look so hilly, but it is quite a steep wee hill. And it's only about three strides and then you're popping over that jump. So losing the momentum in the water, like you're kind of effed if you can't get the momentum back going up that hill. So again, we did the same thing. She was like, mum, that's a wide jump. Even though it's not too big, it is wide, so no. Um, but last time when I represented, I didn't go back through the water. I just took the land and then presented and went over it. So I was a bit bummed last time thinking, gosh, I should have represented and went through the water again and made her do it through the water, made me do it. Um, so this time when we represented, I was like, I'm going through the water. So I went through the water, looked up, get my hands down, like leg on, and she just had a lovely stride over it. She sorted it out herself. Um, my hands weren't doing the first time I was started going Wah! and overthinking it and freaking out because I knew what was coming because I'd lost all that momentum in the water but after that flying again she was just amazing like so so good and she was fleeing and she had so much running in her by the end like when I pushed her onto the finish flags she was still going fast and yeah she's just amazing so now we can properly say that we are inventors. We have invented, I've invented, I know it was unaffiliated, but I've just done my first one day event and it was a success and I had a great time and I wore my wee number bib when I put that on. Well, actually I went to go to dress house without it on and, um, and everyone was like, oh my God, you're my number bib. And I was like, ah, and when I put that on, I actually almost started crying. I was like, oh my God, I've got this number bib on. <laughs> How <laughs> stupid is that? I just feel myself tearing up. I like had that Nora bib on. I felt so 
like all my dreams starting to come true. <laughs> it's so tough. But the amount of times I've seen Joanna with that one and thought she looks so smart, like I want to get like that, I want to go eventing so badly. And um, yeah, finally I did so, it was so fun. I had so much fun. <laughs> I love that wee horse so much, it's literally like the best thing that's ever happened to me. Totally.